Welcome to this tutorial for the Bonanza V35B for MSFS. This airplane is available from the MSFS marketplace for 60 flight sim credits. We've planned our flight in the world map and we're going for a full flight from a runway start with engines on. Let's go. First we'll hit B to set local altimeter and then we'll head over to the GPS to check our flight plan. Clicking flight plan and pushing the cursor button allows us to scroll through our flight plan. All looks good from our departure to destination runways. You can see we've chosen an RNAV approach at our destination, but I'll also cover ILS. We'll set up our climb by dialing in 11,000 feet, which is the cruise altitude we were given by ATC and the sim. We can switch over to vertical speed mode and select a vertical speed of 1500 feet per minute. Parking brake off and throttle up. At 50% fuel load, the plane will start to take off around 80 knots. Pull back gently on the yoke and our climb begins. We'll raise the gear on positive rate. We hit engage on the vertical speed controller and nav mode on the autopilot. Leave the throttle at full and start to retract the flaps. Let's take a look at some of the modes on this GPS, starting with direct to. Use the cursor key to scroll to any waypoint along your route. Hit enter to select, then scroll to activate, and press enter again to execute the change. To return to the map, hit the cursor key, then flight plan twice. For cold climates, prop de-ice and pitot heat controls are located below the yoke. As we reach 1000 feet before our top of climb, hit arm on the vertical speed controller. The plane will slow to 500 feet per minute and level off at the altitude we set. When the airplane levels off, the altitude light illuminates on the autopilot. A quick look at the radios on this GPS unit. The left scroll wheel is used to alter the standby frequency, the arrows to the side, switch primary and standby frequencies, and you push the cursor key to switch between COM and NAV radio. Let's look at the procedures menu on the GPS. In these menus, you can change the runway and approach, as well as the arrival, the star, at your destination. As with other functions on this GPS, these menus are navigated using the right scroll wheel, cursor button and enter key. Please check out the manual linked in the description below for detailed explanations of these functions. The procedures menu will also let you activate the approach phase of flight early. This is useful if you're flying online or you just want to shorten your flight a little bit from what you plan in the world map. At top of descent as directed by ATC, dial in the descent altitude you've been given. Hit arm and the airplane will start to descend. You can now switch to vertical speed mode and dial in your desired descent speed. 1000 feet per minute will allow us to keep the throttle forward during descent. As you're given further descents, just change the altitude. The vertical speed you previously selected will remain the same throughout your descent. If you need to descend quicker, you can increase vertical speed to 2000 feet per minute and idle the throttle. As you turn on to final, decrease the throttle as required to slow to an approach speed of around 80 knots, apply full flaps and gear. At this point, if you're flying an ILS approach, hit the CDI button to change nav source to radio and click approach on the autopilot. For this flight, I have disengaged the autopilot for a manual final approach and we're at an approach speed of around 70 knots following the PAPI lights. I slow to 60 knots for the threshold and guide the airplane down. There's a bit of a crosswind today, so I'll need to kick the nose over near touchdown and idle the throttle. As we break to a stop, that concludes this tutorial. If you found this useful, please drop a like and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you next time.